Hello everybody out there, anybody out there, welcome to the Troy Story, formerly known as the 3 Minute News segment. We've officially, on this day, abandoned that subtitle now because it was a total lie. We never did 3 Minutes, my name wasn't even Troy, this wasn't even a segment, it was a portion, it was a slice. This is meant to be Barry's News Slice, now I'm just yanking your chain, my name is Troy, of course, and from here on in, this little thing, what I do on a night, will be called simply Troy story uh, now just to refresh your memory you people out there um, uh, this is the show where I have a little cheeky fundle of the world wide web in order to find you the viewers the people a nugget of news from around the world uh, that's going to blow your minds now tonight's episode is simply dubbed the deep blue sea because I'm going to have you drowning in factoids people let's give it a go right now a study at the University of Leicester has revealed that female fish judge males based on their ability to design nests. How sexist is that? Is sex? Is that sexist of them fish? In other words, if I was a fish, I would most definitely die alone. I, I would. You know, I still haven't quite mastered the art of double knotting my shoelaces. I, I would not be constructing enormous nests suitable for me in a family of five using only my mouth that you know that's a, a talent um so that's the sexist fish covered where do we go after that right a startup company in israel called sign hal i believe that's the correct pronunciation is producing eco-friendly tampons and baby's nappies out of dead jellyfish damn he just took it there man now, this is in order to tackle the rising number of jellyfish threatening the underwater infrastructure, and also it's 100% biodegradable. So, um, I think it hardly seems fair, really, to punish the jellyfish for being so numerous, does it? Right, your population's so high, we're going to have to murder you and turn your dead body into lady sanitary products. Sorry, it just makes sense environmentally. We, you know, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't do that with humans, would we? We wouldn't be like, population of China, 1.3 billion, you're having a lot. Right, there's only one thing for it, we're going to have to use you as tampons. Don't complain. You know, we'd at least give them a chance to explain themselves, but alas, the jellyfish, they cannot speak, and they especially cannot speak Mandarin, so that makes them not as good as Chinese people. Now, obviously, if, if you could create tampons out of jellyfish, that's a visionary idea for a company, right? That's some black mirror shit right there, that's good. But I can't help but feel sorry for the jellyfish. You know, it started out as such a majestic ocean-dwelling creature and it ended up living in the most undesirable circumstances ever, really. You know, tampons, they're the bottom of the food chain, aren't they? <laughs> you know, no one, no one's mates with a tampon, are they? they? They don't have a very good home life. If you were a tampon, you wouldn't have people round for tea. Your place is minging, mate. You've got to just sort of sit it out alone. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I guess the, moving on from that... Um, that was almost as sexist as that bloody female fish up there. I do apologise. Anyway. Um, but yeah, right. So the, the article then goes on to describe a similarly pioneering company in Denmark called Agroplast, which creates biodegradable plastics out of pig urine. Was Now, again, great idea with an ickiness rating of ick hundred and icky icks. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I, I find it fascinating to imagine that this company could create a biodegradable plastic bucket out of pig urine and then fill it up with genuine liquid pig urine, thus creating some sort of multi-textured combo of pig urine, unlike anything ever seen anywhere in the world, ever. Um, right, that's enough of pig urine, that's enough of jellyfish tampons. Uh, we've all got a bit blue on Troy Story tonight. Blue like the deep blue sea, you could say. Uh, this has been your nightly instalment. Remember to like, share, comment, fucking do what you want, mate. Shove it up your vagina. This is Troy Story.